quick hello to my YouTube watchers before we get started. Hi. Hello and welcome to Wednesday Live with Evie. This is number, let me see here, this is number 67. And today's topic is spring cleaning for your business. So say down in the comments, say hello, let me know you're here and let me know what maybe you're looking to clean up or change now that we're well into spring. So for those of you who don't know what Wednesday Live with Evie is, it's where I come every week, one o'clock on Wednesday, and I share around a topic on productivity, whether it's a tip or a trick or something to think about. It's always has something to do about productivity and your business. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Evie Burke, and I work with women entrepreneurs, and I help them take their productivity to a new level. So at the end of the day, they don't have to worry about, oh, no, what didn't get done today, or what do I need to be doing tomorrow? But instead, they can just really focus on being with the people that they choose to spend their off hours with. And like I said, today's topic is spring cleaning for your business. And... We're what about a month into spring now? We're well into spring, and usually around this time of year is when I get a hankering to change up my office. I'm just going to refresh this page so I can see if anybody commented. But I get a hankering to change up my office, whether it's move some things around or get something new. Um, I always just have this desire to reorganize and declutter my office around this time of year. And ultimately, I decided I didn't need to buy a bunch of new things. I have a couple of really great ideas I'm going to sit on for a little bit and see if I still think they're uh, great ideas in a month or two. But today, more specifically, I was thinking about just the changes that happen in spring. Yes, things start blooming. The tree outside my office is full of leaves now, so I can't see through the tree to the back of the yard. Um, and if you have young kids or teenagers, then they're probably counting down the days till the end of school. And there's there's other little things that happen in the spring too, right? Well, maybe not little, big things. The weather gets warmer, it gets nicer out. You can spend more time outside. So let's talk about a couple of different ways to approach spring cleaning for your business. So the obvious one is getting organized. And that might mean cleaning up the clutter, finding a home for things that are laying around your desk. And if you need to organize your physical space, I know, hey Mary, I see you've joined us. Um, if you're looking to organize your physical space, then there's a number of great, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, there's a number of great professional organizers, that's the word, professional organizers, that are in the Productivity for Women Entrepreneurs Facebook group. Um, so you can head over there and, you know, if that's something you're looking for, post and, and look for them. They'd love to help you out. If you're looking to arrange your social media or declutter your social social media, then you know Mary can help you with that. And there's it can also mean um, getting organized can also mean organizing your work. So like I said, you know your social media. It can be taking inventory of what needs to be done and knowing your priorities. Um, it can be looking at how Noticing what things aren't working. Hey, hey, Brittany, I see you joined us. Welcome. So spring cleaning can also be noticing what's not working with your current schedule, with your current day, and making some changes. So again, that might be clutter or organizing your work. Thank you, Brittany, for all the likes. That's fun to, to see those popping up. Um, it can also be noticing where you're cutting it close, whether that's deadlines, whether that's paying bills, whether that's getting places, you know, what are some of those things that maybe aren't working for you so well, and you might want to change how you approach them. 
Um, maybe you have a habit that's not serving you the way it used to, and maybe it needs to be updated or changed. So for me, normally, um, a couple of times a year, I switch up, thanks for the love, Brittany, uh, I switch up my morning routine. And it's just because for whatever reason, it doesn't quite work for me after a little while, or something's shifted ever so slightly in my life. And even that slight shift changes how I want to approach my morning. Hi, Laura. I see you popped in. Welcome. And spring cleaning for your business can also be noticing what you want to start doing. So spring is a wonderful time to think about, do you want to be outside more? Do you want to um, change where you do your work? during the day. You know, there's all of these things that you might add. Since the weather's getting warmer, um, maybe you want to meditate outside or grab your laptop or your phone and do your social media checking, you know, sitting out on, on, out on your deck or something. Maybe you want to head out to a local forest preserve to their picnic area with your laptop and a notebook and get some work there. Just know that they're probably not going to have Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of different things that you can do when you're thinking about spring cleaning and your business. So basically, it's just a great excuse to look at what either needs to be organized, what's not working that you might want to change, and um, what you might want to start doing. And another thing to think about here is notice where maybe you have this is just a just another thought where maybe your values have changed so maybe you were at a spot you know last year in your business where or even in your life where you really valued um spending a lot of time with your business maybe the weather was colder and it just made a lot of sense to spend a lot of extra time in your business and now that maybe the weather's changed or maybe there's some personal situation that's changed Maybe your values have shifted a little bit and it makes sense to shift how you're doing things or shift what that focus is. So notice those things too. So, oh yeah, Mary mentioned that if you want to take your laptop and your dog uh, to a lo local coffee shop or a beer garden with an outdoor table, yeah, that's definitely an option. I know there's a lot of Panera's and Starbucks or even... Um, local coffee shops. There's some really great local coffee shops in the Chicagoland area. I know probably just half a dozen that are within a half hour to 45 minutes of where I am in Aurora, in the north part of Aurora. And, you know, they're, they're great places to go and, you know, enjoy a good cup of coffee or a pastry and get some work done. So, um, to do. So in the comments below or to the side or wherever they're showing up for you, share what spring cleaning you're thinking of doing or maybe what you're thinking of doing now that you've watched the live. So just a quick review, we talked about spring cleaning as, as far as clearing out the clutter, um, looking at what you want to start doing and looking at what maybe you want to stop doing. Now, if one of the changes you want to make is to stop just thinking about doing things and instead start doing them, consider joining us for the Unnamed Productivity Club. So that is a monthly club. We do accountability. We do planning each month. And there's a couple of other things that we were throwing in there to see what works and what doesn't work. So one of them that we did today was a virtual co-working. And the, the people who were on that with me today, they just loved it. They're like, I got so much done because they were just so laser focused and I participated too and I had the same results. So I've also heard from the ladies in the club um, that it's shifted their businesses. It's given them a clear vision of what needs to be done and how to get there. And it's helped them a lot with staying focused and staying on track. So what would a shift for you um, and your, what would shift for you and your business if you had those things, right? How would it, how would it change your results? 
So right now the Unnamed Productivity Club is only $17 a month and at the end of May that investment is going to go up to $47 a month. But those who are in at the $17 a month rate are grandfathered in. So they'll continue paying that $17 a month. So I have space just as far as bandwidth for me adding people to the to the group. I have space in the next two weeks for about eight people to join the group. So if this is something that you are interested in, then I would love to have you check it out. Um, I'm going to pop that link below and I see Mary made a comment. Ah, uh, yes. Mary says that part of her spring cleaning is going to be cleaning her um, her newly graduated from college son's room and making it more of a guest room than a bedroom. Yeah, exciting. So, yes, join us in the Unnamed Productivity Club. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, and again, looking at changing up your, your decluttering and what's working and what's not working for you as far as, you know, looking at and cleaning for this time of year in your business. Now, oh, and Laura says, yes, adjusting hours, schedule me time on a regular basis as opposed to sneaking it in. Yeah. I know it didn't happen for me this year, but I know last, the previous years in my business, um, actually, I know why it stopped happening, but I would migrate my office I'd, it would become my laptop and whatever notebook or thing i was working with and i would go and i'd sit downstairs on the couch and it was nice and i'd look out the picture window and my husband would get annoyed because i have like this pile of work stuff laying around interesting thing is um that couch has been moved out of the front room so i can't sit in front of the picture picture window um but since my husband is working from home now there's lots of boxes of his stuff in the front room that is one of our projects for spring cleaning this year or this in the next couple of months so there's there's some other pieces that go with that but yes that's one of the things we're doing all right so that is it for this week's Wednesday live with Evie until next week much love All right, so a special hello again to my YouTube watchers. I've included the links I've mentioned in, I'm pointing to my computer screen, like you can see that, uh, but I've included the links that I mentioned in the video uh, in the description below. And I've also included a link to the Facebook live video in case you want to head over there and see the comments that were made by people um, there since they're not going to be in the YouTube video. And say hi in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell notification. I don't know where that shows up depending on where you're watching this, but hit the bell notification so you know when I post new videos. And normally it's going to be on Wednesdays. So until next week, much love to you guys at YouTube, watching through YouTube.